My name is Army Sergeant Russell Carter. In 2011, while serving in Afghanistan, I was severely injured in a rollover accident. This resulted in a spinal cord injury, quadriplegia, and TBI. Now, I was in middle school and saw 9-11 unfold on the TVs in school, knowing I wanted to be a part of something important and to be able to do something about it so it didn't happen again. So that I just had that feeling from then, and I carried it with me until I was old enough to serve. And it just was a feeling of being a part of something important, like I was making a difference, and that's the main thing I wanted to do. I love the camaraderie, the bond with your brothers, and you hear it a lot, but it's the truth. You're not fighting the enemy over there. You're fighting for the guy to the left and right of you because you become so close that you would do anything for them. So the day of my injury, I have no recollection of any of the events. I don't remember waking up that day. We were on QRF, which is Quick Reaction Force. So we got spun up on QRF and had to leave the base to go help out another unit that had taken contact. On the way back to base, the, there was a vehicle malfunction when we turned onto a bridge and it caused a 13 and a half ton MRAP to lose steering, drive off the side of the bridge and fall 50 feet down into a ravine. It split the truck in half, my seatbelt harness snapped and I snapped my neck and shattered my lower back. There were six other guys in the truck with me. I was the only one with non-recoverable injuries. My first recollection is opening my eyes in Walter Reed in DC and the first thing I saw were my parents. Couldn't feel my body, I knew something was up. And then in the next hours, I was able to have doctors explain it to me. In the beginning, it was definitely a struggle. I didn't want to get out of bed in the hospital. I didn't want to go to rehab. And I think it was the mindset of being in the hospital. It just took its toll on me. I just keep reminding myself that I have to keep going for the guys that didn't get to come home and their families. I'm currently living at my mom's house. We have an addition on the back and it's just an open room that I have my little living room area in and my bed and a rolling shower. But I can't get into the kitchen at all. So I'm either ordering food or having my mom or stepdad prepare it for me. So it's tough to have that normal aspect. The sense of normalcy is really the biggest thing because now I have like the handicap ramp going 20 feet up the back of the house to get into it. And I just have my room, you know, it's not good for trying to be an independent 30 year old man. Homes for Our Troops, I first heard about the organization when I was hospitalized. It was eye-opening. It was the first real organization I'd heard about that does things for veterans like that. And just the thought that it was even possible. I'm like, so they're just gonna build me a house that I'll be able to get around in. It's like I could have the shelter, but all these adaptations that it requires, I, it was hard to fathom in the very beginning. A really exciting part is the fact that they can do prescriptive adaptations with the tracks and the ceiling. For someone like me, I can't transfer on my own. I can't really assist in transferring. So having that track system over the bed into the bathroom is a game changer for me. Also being able to open the doors and cabinets, like just little things that people don't think about that I didn't even think was possible to adapt those things and seeing how possible it really is hands-on is an awesome experience. I hear a lot of other vets say it as well. We're always chasing that feeling again of belonging to something that matters and doing something that is having an effect on other people's lives. And having this home would be a great step in that direction. By building the home, you're rebuilding my life, but like starting my life again. It's been on pause for a while, and I'm ready to unclick that pause button and get started again. So I wanna start my own business and help out people with disabilities to travel. I have a huge passion for traveling. Just to have my own space and have an office and work from there, 
go to school again down in Florida and just really get my life back. It's just a sense of independence that I don't have right now and it would change everything. Homes for our troops, it's hard to put into words exactly what they're giving me. I can say independence and the sense of like being a contributing member to society again, having a place to do that out of, just to be a normal person living in a normal house, it just means the world to me.